Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another coding tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make advancements which just flashed on my screen. To start coding right away, I've made a public final class toast in which we're going to be creating these fake advancements, then sending them to the player and then finally deleting them from the disk because unfortunately the way it works, Bucket actually writes them to the disk, so we have to revoke them in the very next second. Now, before we get going, if you don't know Java, Unfortunately, you have to learn at least a little bit of Java and most Java tutorials do not cover Minecraft and are a waste of time. We have a full coding course covering Java plus Minecraft. The link is in the description. It is full seven week online training course that I put together last year, it took me over half a year to build. We continuously push updates there and the best of all, I'm there twice per week to provide personalized help. So if you want to understand Java better, if you're just starting out and you don't know any Java, either way, check the course below. Not only teaches Java, but it also teaches so much more than I can show you on this free YouTube tutorial. We have an entire week about how to make mini games Games, how to make menus, custom monsters, etc, etc. Very cool stuff. Anyways, let me get going. So inside this very toast class, we're going to be creating a method to create this advancement and then to actually grant it to the player and then finally to revoke it from the player, as I mentioned earlier. And then, of course, we can just create a method called start that will call all the logic. So it's going to create the advancement, it's going to grant the advancement after it has been created, and then we're going to get the scheduler and we're going to run a task later using our plugins instance, going into the cow canoe, not cow canoe plugin, and then simply opening a Lambda expression and calling revoke advancements. It seems like the AI is pretty smart today. However, the delay right here can only be 0.5 seconds, which is 10 ticks. We don't need any more delay than that. Also, we need to create a couple of fields in this very method. First one being a final name space key, which is simply the unique ID of this advancement. Every advancement has a specific identifier. Don't worry, guys, I'm going to show you how to create this to be a unique one each time you want to send a message. Next one, we're, we're going to be holding up an icon, which is simply a material, which I've shown you at the beginning. This can be any material in Bucket, and as well as we, of course, need to have a message. And then the final field is actually going to be an enum called style, which I'm going to create right now, because basically there's three different styles of advancements, number one being call, then task, and then a challenge. Just like this one, I've made the enum. Now we're going to be wanting to access the enum from different class right here. So let me just put it to the bottom. It's a good practice to keep public static things at the very bottom of the class. And let's keep it there for now. Now we of course need to create a constructor for this one. Let me just do it right now. Let me select all of these four fields. Now the key right here, we don't have to provide any key to make it very simple. We can just specify new namespace key, get the instance right here, and then get the unique ID inside Java and call random unique ID and then convert it to string. And then if you watched the last video, we made a similar class right here. So I don't have to actually make this constru constructor public because I'm going to be creating a new static void call show or display to, which is going to take the player and then the rest of the arguments. It is going to con call a new toast class and then it's automatically going to call the start method. And then I also forgot that we actually need to have the player right here because we're going to be needing to have the player when we are not creating the advancements but we're granting the advancements and revoking them so let me just place it right here there we go and then we can reference the player right here and i can of course move it down below to maintain the code style just like that now how do we actually create the advancement this is the most difficult part of this video so let me just begin this first inside bucket there's something called get unsafe which is just some methods that are not a sort of recommended API. One of these being load advancement. Now the advancement right here is not actually a string. It is actually a JSON thing. And inside this JSON right here, if I let, in, if I let AI do its thing, it'll actually generate this entire thing for us. Now guys, if you obviously don't wanna code everything like this one, I do have the source code of this very class down below. If you click the resources link to Mine Academy blog post, you can access the full source code of this. So you can just copy paste this easily. Now, there is going to be a couple of things we want to change. Uh, number one being the hidden. So this one needs to be true. Otherwise, we're going to be actually seeing the advancements inside our menu, which we don't want because this is not a true advancements. It's just a message. And then 
the frame right here is actually going to be the style. And then we need to get the style to string and we need to also make sure to put it to lowercase. Now, as a bonus feature, what I like to do is I like to get the message and replace all occurrences of this letter with the new line letter, such that when I go and I type in hello world using this right here, vertical line, whatever, it'll actually display the world on another line, which is pretty cool. So there you have it. That's how you actually display a fake advancement. Could you believe that? I couldn't until the AI came in the way and saved the day. And if you wonder which plugin did it, I actually use something called GitHub Copilot, which is an extension. I think it costs $10 a month to use. Okay, guys, moving on to the other method called grant advancement. This one is actually very easy. All we have to do is call get advancement progress. And then we're going to load, we're going to call bucket again to load the advancement by the same key that we just created earlier. And then we're going to be avoiding the criteria called trigger to display, to force the message to be displayed on a screen. And then likewise, we are going to be using the same very method in revoking the advancements, except now we're calling revoke criteria right here. Now, as a final thing, I made a little cut and I created a command to display this toast message. I'm not going to cover the integrity of this method because I have a full video on how to create commands in Bucket in this very free Minecraft plugin tutorial series. In its very simplicity, all we have to do while running the command is make sure that we are running as a player. And then we have to force all three or more arguments. Remember, this command is executed. If I open up my plugin YAML where I register the command, we're going to be typing slash toast, select the style, which is all the three styles, then pick the Bucket material and then we just want to type in the messages right here so first of all we're going to get the style and i created also an error validation right here such that when i type something that does not exist we're simply going to be returning it so that you don't end up with a plugin error next up we're going to be doing the very much the same with the material however we are only interested in keeping the material name so we're only going to call material material right here for validation and then finally i'm going to be loading the message using a for loop starting at the second on actually the third argument because that one goes from zero remember an array always starts from zero right so that's the third one and then basically every word if i type in hello world is split by a space which is as another argument in the command system in bucket so that we have to iterate until it reach the final argument and then simply join them by a space right here guys if you have a better solution for this please post it in the comments i just thought that this one is the easiest solution that i came up with and of course i will also support colors in the message and then this will append the space at the very end so i'm going I'm going to call the trim method in Java to delete the ending, the trailing space at the very end. And then I'll simply call toast display to, as we have specified in the class. And I also implement a very basic on tap complete. I can also delete the debug line right here, which is going to simply all to complete all the different toast styles, all the different material styles. For example, say hello, if, if we have reached the position where we are supposed to be typing a message. However, then it's pretty interesting because I also turned this into a stream and I also make sure to only tap complete the completions that start with what we already typed in. So when I type in slash toast and I go and I want to have task, but I type in TA, it's not going to complete the challenge. It's only going to complete task SK because task completion starts with what I put right there. And then to list, I don't know why this is not working well. If you have a problem with this one, you can also call to, you can also call collect and then collectors that to list. Before I go ahead and I compile it, please be sure to go inside your main class where is this, the cow cannon right here and make sure to register the command right here. Now, before I go and I test it, also make sure to type in that to lowercase under the tab completion for the toast style if you haven't noticed that I forgot it. And also there was a tiny mess up when it comes to displaying it because I messed up the arguments and that's why I do recommend having the inlay hints right here. It says icon right here, but I did not put icon right here. So please make sure to have that correctly in the source code. It will be fixed. And if you wonder how to enable these display hints, simply open up IntelliJ settings, type in inlay, and then inlay hints should pop right here. And this one is called parameter names, Java, and then it should be somewhere in between right here. Parameters with names, you can try hiding it. And now you can see if I hide everything, 
hit OK, now it doesn't show anymore. Let me just enable that back in. And IntelliJ is pretty smart because if the per parameter in the constructor is equal to the variable name, it'll not show as a display hint. So that one is message. And if I try to put a message right there, it'll doesn't it'll ignore the display hint. However, if I say call this banana, then it'll figure out that, it, that it's different. So it's going to show it. So it's a very cool feature to have in IntelliJ. Okay, guys, now when it comes to testing it, let me type in slash toast. Now we can see that it will also complete to challenge, goal, or task. Now we can pick the material. Let me just go with my favorite emerald. And let me type in hello world. This is really cool. Now it says advancement made hello world. This is really cool. It did show this on a separate page because it's pretty long. But if I type something shorter, such as just hello there, it should display on the same page. We can also add some colors right here. It's going to pop like this one. And you can, of course, add multiple lines by using the vertical line symbol. If you do something like this, it'll show on four lines like this one. Now, the question is, can you display something custom instead of having to choose from these three styles? Can you change the goal reached? The answer is no, because that one is actually built inside Minecraft. So without using mods or custom data packs, you are unable to change that. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure to give a nice thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because it really motivates me and keeps me going to make cool videos for you guys. And of course, I'll always post the full source code link below this video, but make sure not to just go and download the source code because you will not understand why things work, which I think is really important. And if you want to learn more about and if you want to learn more about Java and making amazing plugins, check out Project Orient. The class is inside the description. It's really cool. Any for whatever reason, you're not happy with it i'm going to be sad but no worries because we have a full 30 day money back guarantee so you're completely covered that is again it for today thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video